Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. If you look carefully about this one, we need to create about complementary solution. And the second one, that's it about particular solution. So, about the first one, I will put about yc equals to e to the power of lambda x. So, if I do first the derivative of this one, you got about lambda e to the power of lambda x. That means we do first the derivative of this one. So we keep about this one in here. Later that we do first the derivative of lambda s. You got about lambda. Now we do second the derivative. You got about lambda square e to the power of lambda s. Because this is about complementary solution. So that means this one should be equals to number 0. And now we put this one to change for y. First derivative and second derivative. Now, we need to do about factorization of this one. Now, in this situation, we only find the solution of this equation in here. So, we calculate about this one and we have two solutions. That's about lambda equals to number 5 and lambda equals to negative number 2. So, we have yc equal to c number 1 e to the power of 5s because we change lambda in here into number 5. And C number 2, we have E to the power of negative 2S. We change lambda into negative number 2. That's why we have in here. And this is about complementary solution. Now we go to particular solution. About this one, we have E to the power of S. So YB should be about capital A, E to the power of s. If we do first the derivative, we got about same as e to the power of s because first the derivative of this, this one, you got same with this one and similar for second derivative. Now, we have this one in here and I will put about this one to change for y. First the derivative, change for this one, and similar for this one. So we have 8 e to the power of s minus 3 a e to the power of s minus 10 a e to the power of s equal to 6 e to the power of s. Now a minus 3 minus 10 you got about negative 12a e to the power of s equal to 6 e to the power of s. We see that we have same e to the power of s. That means negative 12a equal to number 6. Later that we divide both sides by number 12. You got about 8 equals to negative 1 over 2. And now we got about yb 
equals to negative 1 over 2 e to the power of s and now we got the final answer in here so y c that's it about this one And why we that's see about this one. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.